Hi, today I'm going to walk you through how to use the basics of any of our templates. Today I'll be using one of our wedding brochures, but many of these concepts will apply to any template that you choose. When you open the file, looking in the layers palette, you'll notice that we labeled everything in plain language as clear as possible. This particular template is broken up into two sections, the cover and the inside. In each of these groups, there are subgroups for the individual pages. Let's change out the studio info. In the layers palette, under the cover group, select the back page. Unfold all of the folders until you get to the last layer in the group. This layer is a smart object. You can tell by the icon designation. There is a small checkered box in the bottom right corner of the thumbnail. Just as the layer is labeled, double click on the thumbnail to open up the smart object. These are compressed containers that hold entire separate documents that appear to be flattened. They help keep file size down and help keep things organized and neat. We use many smart objects throughout our templates. This allows for maximum control without having to work in a single cluttered document. From here, you can double click the thumbnail to go inside the logo smart object and replace it with your logo. I'm simply going to change the name. Once done, simply save the document to commit to your changes. Back inside the Studio Info Smart Object, you'll notice that your changes have updated. Now I'll update the Contact Info. And save and close this document. Now I'm back in the brochure, we'll notice that all our changes are updated. Now let's change the cover image. In the Layers palette, use the folder names to navigate to the front page's Smart Object. Double-click the thumbnail to edit the Smart Object. Once inside, simply drag and drop your image on top of the document and scale to taste. I want to make sure the placement is perfect. To help, simply lower the opacity of your image to match the template image. Or you can use the guides. We've placed guides in the document to help you see exactly where your image will line up. To make the guides visible, in the menu bar, select View, Show, Guides. This looks good. Once you're satisfied, simply save and close this document. You're even welcome to make more advanced edits. Let's change the color of this title band on the cover. Navigate to the Design Group Smart Object and go inside. Here we'll select the rectangle shape. Because this is a vector shape, you can easily change the color and the shape to whatever you desire. In the layers palette, simply double click the rectangles thumbnail. This will open up a color picker. Change the color to whatever you'd like. And hit OK. This time, I won't close the document, I'll just simply save it to commit to the changes. In the open document tabs, I'll switch back to the brochure. Eh, this isn't working for me. I think I like the original color better. I'll switch back to the Smart Object document, change the color, hit OK, and save and close. Nice. Much more legible. Lastly, let's replace one of the images on the inside pages. To keep things clear, I'm going to disable the visibility of my cover layers, and then navigate to the inside pages. After unfolding one of the page's folder structures, I'll select the template image. Here, you'll notice it's a slightly different setup. This time, it's a folder with a mask. This mask limits visibility of what's on the layer based on this black and white image. All you have to do is drag and drop your image on top of the template image. Here's my new image. Scale to fit. Perfect. These were all the basics of editing our Photoshop templates.